yeah welcome back guys um sorry i didn't stream yesterday so i kind of like um, had a lot going on so i needed to sort out some stuff uh, i will head, clear his space so that i can decide um to stream today yeah and it was possible so yeah um, that's why you see that's why you see me here come on yeah that's why i'm here today to um start working on this with you guys again um it's been a it's been a day off so far so hopefully we can like um try to accomplish some a lot today hopefully like i said try to accomplish a lot um yeah basically let me try to finish up our daily routine routine i'm trying to kind of like get on this um platform to actually stream um good um I can't some a lot today, hopefully. Oh, that's from my um outer speaker. Okay. I don't know why the background move music is not um working. Can I stop for some time now? Let me see. Okay. No. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we are good to go. Looks like everything is working perfectly good. Um, let's see. Yeah, guys, um, like I said, welcome back again to the news, to the news stream today. We, this is episode 16, and we're getting towards um, trying to finish up the... Um, Cart section where we the shopping cart section where we are adding product um um where we are adding the the flowers or the gifts that we want to um buy to our shopping cart and then try try to see um how the shopping cart will calculate the cost for us before we do the checkout. I will try to complete that today and also try to um see if we can complete the checkout section. And uh, if that is if we do that, yeah, I think I will be getting towards to almost finishing the whole app um what else what else what else um, yeah i think that's it um and we are live on every platform linkedin um twitch youtube behance um so you guys who miss me just check me out on those platform and join on um yeah i think that's it and um, if you haven't subscribed today is your first time um here with us so guys try to Hit the subscription button and subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified so yeah that's it um thank you guys i'm looking forward to seeing more subscriptions coming <laughs> yeah okay um let's get in with this so right here in our app um like i said yes the last time we were here we kind of like um trying to finish work on the um wish list um section basically the shopping cart section to complete that why is it actually saying wish list should you see my wish list um let's take a look at the design what should us this okay my cart yeah not wish list i was like why would that state wish list so we have some um issue to fix here a minor bug basically a test um description box so let's go fix fix that uh, <coughs> i don't know why i'm sounding like this today but sorry yes um so this should actually say my cat and not my wish list um, open this up can just scroll down okay should say my cat Though. yeah it says my cat um let's try adding some product in and start testing this out so just get over to the home page so this here is our home page and on our home page just open this section and um, you can see that this um flower here it has not been added to to the cat and also is as it has not been added to the wish list because if you go back and check the wish list we already have one item which is not that particular flower which is this one you can see this one is added to the wish list so let's add this to the shopping cart to add that you just go ahead and say add 
to shopping cart. You can see it's already added to the, to the shopping cart. Uh, you can take a look over here in our back end. So in our back end, we should yeah, we should be able to see that. So cart model. The, this cart model is responsible for our shopping cart. So any item we add into our shopping cart will be in this in this form of cart model. We should have a product ID, the quantity of the um item so right now if you click on this add so it adds one quantity so that means one quantity is in the user's shopping cart and uh, if you want to take more clear look at how the pro how the data was modeled so here is the data um our user model which we have a relationship to the shopping cart and the model is cart model and the cart model has an id a user model id which is actually linking it with this user data model and then a product id which is linking it to the particular product that was added um, to the shopping cart and then we have the quantity basically um the amounts the numbers of um of this item in the shopping cart and yeah so that's how the um the, the product model looks like so let's go back to our shopping cart to take a look so if you go back here and um yeah, one, one more thing I just need to show you guys. So if you open this, you can actually see these two IDs here. One of these IDs, the one below, is basically the um the the user model um the user model ID, and this second one at the top is basically the user ID that's currently authenticated in the app. Basically, the user that is currently using the app, which is me right now, this is basically my ID. Um, so that's this. So over here. In our shopping cart you can see the product is being added and you can see the quantity that i was talking about the quantity is one and right here you can see the quantity is one and if you head back here um so let's add another product so i'm going to go over here tap on this okay this is already added um let's see okay yeah add this one and you just wait you can see that show up here give you some moment uh, yeah so that shows up you see the product added already and the quantity is one you just go back again let's add one more so this and then add to cart that will be added and then go back to the cart section you see the three product we added showing up here, which is this three product right and each of them has one um quantity and um, but the issue right now is that how do we get this to actually show up a price here um once the user is adding it or changing any of the quantity the price should update to actual um pricing so to fix that um basically head over to um the our vs code so we just head over to our vs code um in our vs code we need to do that somewhere um here yeah somewhere here because over here we are saying um we are using a use effect and we are adding a subscription that monitors any changes in our data store for this cart model if there's any changes we are subscribing to that changes if there's any changes call this query shopping cart and once that is called get it to basically get all the shopping cart again look through it and add it into our list and then also right here we need to update the pricing also at the same time to fix that so let's go ahead and calculate the pricing um, to get do that, we are going to say um, let let to two price. I just call that let to two. Yeah, makes sense to call it let to two price equals to list, which is this particular list dot um, field reduce. So we're going to use reduce. Um, instead of reduce, we are having. um basically we are going to return um a which is the um accumulator and a plus b which is the model plus price so the a star being zero we are adding b for every item inside the list um so we are adding the price of every item inside the list inside um plus to this a so let's um, first unwrap this um uh, what did i do yeah so right there, I'm going to say let let quantity. Let's get hold of the quantity. Let quantity be equals to shopping cart dot find. Yeah, so that's actually good to us. So the find where item 
item the product id is equals to equals to b dot id which is over here the particular product that is being um, looked on at the moment b dot id and we are going to get rid of the quantity out of it so i'm going to say dot quantity and right here i'm going to say um let's price equals to um b multiplied um by quantity yeah b multiplied by quantity this quantity quantity two yeah so there we go so the price now i'm going to return it and this is how we return it i'm going to say um a plus round run this to the two place digits and let's import this round is already added price not b dot price that it will not become price comma two so this two means we want a precision to be two place um digits basically two decimal places that's what we are saying um two in there and um i think that should be it for this so price and precision have of type any so we need to convert that to be of type number yeah so that will fix the issue because we are using type scripts um kind of like compares whenever there is no type or something has type of any um so you kind of like you have to give it a type or you just want to leave it to be type of any um yeah so i think that is it so what we need to now is to call um set the price so i'm going to say set total price to be basically the total price um returned here and if we go ahead and restart this app Tap over here, and you can see that total price is now 62.71, which is actually what we are having right here. And if you want to make sure that is actually true, let's calculate this. I think I have a calculator right here. Okay. So let's do some calculation, a normal calculation, and see if our cut is actually corresponding to the price we have here. I'm going to say 15.37 plus 23. Point nine three plus twenty three point four one. And if you go equals to that gives us sixty two point seventy one, which is correct. So we have sixty two point seventy one as our total um cat item, and you can see the total price is sixty two point seventy one. And let's let's try removing any of these to see if the price we actually change to match up with the current items in the cart so let's remove any one at random so let's remove the last one and you could actually see now the total price is 39.3 and let's go check that too now let's say 15.37 plus 23.93 then equals to 39.3 because you actually see that 39.3 as our total price so yeah that was actually working and if you go ahead and remove the next one it's still it's still the same 15.7 which is 15.7 and um if you go and increase the quantity right here i see the price increases to 30.73 which is what we have here so this 15.37 times 2 which is now two products is giving us 30.73 and you can actually reduce the price and you can see that 15.87 so that's working um that's actually good uh let's go ahead and add more product to our shopping cart this is already there um let's try this add this because we just removed it previously add this and then add this so basically we we'll add a whole four um i think that's it go to shopping cart and you can actually see the total price is 92.01 because we have four items one two three four and if you want us to shake to see um if we are if the card is actually correct and we can actually check that here let's say the first product is 15.37 plus um the second product is 23.93 and the second product is um, 23 Point four one, and the last one is plus 
29.3 and equals to 92.01 nice one so you actually um doing our maths um yeah so and the whole stuff is um is actually in in together it's working and um yeah we don't have we are not short, um, changing our, our users and we're actually calculating everything to make sure um it's proper let's see if there's something else we are missing so um okay yeah let's try one more thing so i'm gonna um try to increase any of these products so increase this you see the price as up increase this a price as up according to what is actually in the cat showing up so so i actually see that working properly and um, we're not having any issues so if i go ahead try reducing any of this you see the price changes reduces to normal pricing and there you go so try to delete the price changes and adjust adjust until you delete this and it becomes zero so yeah so that's it guys for the shopping cart section and um, that's working so if you take a look at um, the design we have and what we are working with i could actually see the cart model is empty there's nothing there because we just removed it we emptied the whole cart so nothing is showing up there anymore and if you go ahead go ahead over here and let's take a look at the design so these are shopping carts and you can see that it's actually working the way we expect it and um, yeah so the next stuff will be to basically check out this and once you tap on the checkout it will take us to um other confirmation and this will be other confirmation screen which we'll be working on right now so let's um try adding some items to the shopping cart think this is enough and head over to the shopping cart we have three items so if you tap on this at the moment nothing happens because you need to create this other confirmation screen uh, which we are going to play right now so let's start with that yeah now we're up So here in our app, I will basically head over to, um, to the screen section and I'm going to add a new um, screen right here and the screen is going to say, um, it's going to say um, check out, so it will name me check out, so let's go and do that, okay, check out, txx, view um component there i need to import this I just have the test also and import everything and yeah it will import is done and then we need to add this checkout um to our tab nav um it's not going to be inside the tab nav because if it's inside a tab nav that means um it's going to have this tab navigation under it but in our check our other confirmation screen we don't have this um tab navigation under it so what i would do is to move it over to a new oath nav so that should be inside oath nav basically inside oath nav i don't know why i named it oath nav but let's keep it that way for now <laughs> um so our oath nav which is inside our See. Yeah, so I'll now which inside our navigator. 
have the data cam terms and conditions screens um zit view of product product details product details Yeah, so let's copy this um, instead of being product details i'm gonna rename it um to be um, so we want to rename it to say check out so that will be the name and the component will be check out component no way what yeah There we go options can just remove this entirely if you want you can remove it or you just keep it um, but we don't need it save that and now let's try navigating to this screen uh, let's say um, inside our that um, shopping cart at the moment when the user taps on this button where's the button again okay the check out yeah uh, complex it take us to navigation looks like we need to import use navigation right here so it's going to be constant navigation is equals to use navigation Is it again yeah use navigation and then we can actually use that to navigate to the screen that we want in this case we are going to navigate use navigation dot navigate to checkout save that let's try restarting our app uh, with the shopping cart tap on this i can see that we are taken to the um the checkout screen and uh, we can see the nav bar showing up so yeah that's cool um next we'll be to start um working on the checkout screen first of all we need to add this um both in and the other confirmation and uh, we can actually copy that um copy that from is it again Should copy that from product detail screen because we already have something similar there so if i go to product detail screen and that should be somewhere here So copy that and paste that in here. So just control B to paste what we copy. I will need to import this. And I don't need this. Uh, so just basically delete this one. Okay, over here. I'm gonna say style that we're going to be using should be style the container. It kind of like makes sense to actually move this to a separate file since we are using it on most um, of the screens. So just call it um, a separate file and move it there. I'll see over here. So I should say constant styles. And in here, that should be container. On the container, what should be the style of the container? What do we want that to look like? So it has the padding top added. So let's add a padding top also. And we need to add this property screen height. Can declare that hit that variable. So let's create the constant variable right here. No way. Um yeah, well, we need to make that to be constant. Yeah, and then import dimension. Okay, once that is added. 
so this is fixed save this and you can see that's showing up right there um, so that's our back button showing up and next what we need to add in there is this other confirmation test um, to add that basically go inside here so this top head top head should be from here so let's copy it down so we still need that but it shouldn't be space between there shouldn't be any space between them so we remove that and um this should be coming from constant application let's click on here and copy that yeah use navigation then import this and then that fixes that issue and um, save this that applies and what else so we need to add a test right in here and the test should say order confirmation order confirmation Okay, go ahead and see that. See that showing up on um, the title. Copy them. Uh, if you just head over here. Say okay, title. And inside here, yeah, um, font family should be enter board. So leave it at enter board. Um, then we can just say font size 20, but that looks too big. So reduce this to 16. Uh, what about 17 pixels mm, i think we can just leave it that way and then we need to bring it down no more okay at the margin left of 20 but that's too much let's reduce it to 10 okay and then bring it down by same margin top i should assume five okay let's take a look actually see that and then we need to add this box this delivery address change and other ones so we, we need to divide this section by section um start down see something like I think this this looks nice this way i don't know if that if that would be good if you guys can see it properly but in a one in a way that we can actually see this screen and this all together so let's um keep it that way and continue okay um so we need to add this section so i'm gonna break this out into sections um another section right here so let's say view say style is equals to styles dot delivery address yeah just name it that way and then in here is going to have um, another view inside it create a new view inside it Parties, style, 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 um, okay, we done, and I'm going to call this head, okay, and then inside the head, we're going to have two tests, So it's going to be delivery address head title. No. Head edit. So this will be change. Got it to be change. Okay. If you go ahead and 
format this and let's try styling this place. So save this right now. This is what it looks in the screen, which is different from what we are what we have here at the moment. So let's try this. Okay, uh, let's see. Same right here. Okay. Yep. That's all right. So let's start all this stuff. So let's start with the delivery address head. Um, for the head, I'm gonna say Rex direction should be raw. Um, Rex just five content should be spaced between. You can actually see both of those space starts. And um, so. Padding horizontal. We'll just add padding horizontal to it. Um, remove the padding horizontal we have right here at the moment and add that to the main container. Isn't that okay? No. Okay, let's do this. Let's add padding horizontal to this one. Right here. Uh, okay, let's say 20. Um, that doesn't look good. Let's increase that to 30. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. And then I could just say margin top 20. Okay, and then say the head. Enter board. Let's save this and see how that looks. Okay, um, that's too much. Um, let's reduce this to 13. Um, let's leave it at 14. Let's see what that looks like. Um, enter. Let's have enter board. Let's say enter regular. Probably enter medium. Okay, I think intermediate works and then the change the edit button the edit button should be um, enter light and then font size 14 and um, change the color the test color um, where did they have the color should be from a custom color the app main color so that should be the test color see that see the change shown um can just change this to be same as the, yeah i think i think this makes sense and then reduce it so around 12. Mm, yeah i think 12 makes sense yeah so see delivery address and then change so once you tap on that, we need to add an opacity to it so that once you tap on it, you kind of like have this tap effect on it, um, the opacity effect. So let's wrap this with touchable opacity. Add that right there. And let's say the on press. save that and if you try that again see the opacity effect showing up so yeah that's what we are looking for and next here is to actually add this section um so the name of the person and the address of the person and the phone number of the person so those are the property we need to add um That should be under here. It should have not another view, but basically, it should have a test. Uh, for the test, this should say, um, My mom, yeah, my mom. That should work. that should be the test right there. Uh, basically since this will be editable so i'm trying to see 
how we're gonna make that work so since it's gonna be editable what properties should be in there i think the properties that should be in there should be test edit um say react so let's go over to the react native itself um yeah let's see the com component that's in there uh, i'll show you inside components and um, Okay, let's try the test input. And we kind of want to remove it. Um, the unchain, like not editable. So let's see if there's a, um, a function for that in here, a property for it. Okay, there's a editable property. Okay, so we have to use test input. Um, so basically, let's add a test input in there. So I'm gonna say in there, right here. So this should be test editing components showing up there. So this instead of a test, we're going to remove that to be an input. So I say input or test, yeah, test input. There you go. And if you save that, okay. Since this is a test input, um, it's going to be um have a placeholder. Um, name. So we say uh receiver name that should have something like receiver. Receiver name. Can I see that? Yeah, nice one. Um, if we should tap outside, it should actually remove that. Um, just use touchable um, without opacity. I think that's one. Okay, yeah, touchable without feedback. So, touchable without feedback is going to have this unpress, unpress function. That's one chord. We're going to call keyboard. So this is actually native to React. Um, this is actually React com native component. So used to dismiss the keyboard, the keyboard or dismiss, and then we need to import the keyboard. Go ahead and refresh this. And if you tap outside, it goes up. Tap outside, it goes up. So yeah, that's cool. And um, head over here. So I'm, I added this test input, and um, in there. So I'm gonna call this to be the stars going to be stars dot um update items oh yeah we can just add our stars somewhere here update items adding horizontal should be 30 so the test input starts right here and um, it has to have so the style for the test input has its own style too so you can say styles 
that input so go ahead and style that um input you know what's that no that should be outside yeah so let's start i'm starting this height 40 um is that okay okay there we go and then what else do we need to add in there i don't think there's any other stuff because right now if you just tap inside there it shows and the user taps outside that remains there so for now let's leave change so let's say my mom that should be the name of the receiver the will have it here my mom yeah and if you tap outside that stays there and you could actually see it that's showing like this so that's what we have to achieve here um i think one change we need to make is the font size of font family um so the font family i could just say that should be inter bold um the color property the color should actually be from custom color or gray so gray color if you could remember we have a gray color inside our yeah save that yeah you see that Shh, machine up and is there other stuff we need to make changes on that's not so the next thing is just to duplicate this into multiple times um this over here and we're going to call this location input so this one should be location um input and for the location input i'm still going to be um same as input so we don't need to add the location to it so we can actually say it's still going to be input right so it's going to be input but the only difference that is going to be um for location so the test should be location so i should say the place where that should be location yeah but it needs to have these icons at the back so i'm going to copy this and add it inside the view so we're going to be able to add the icon at the back so inside the view and then we're going to say this view style should be equal to styles dot um um decorated input yeah and then inside the decorated input i'm going to add a component called icon i will need to import this component called icon uh-huh and then we're going to have a name and the name is going to be gotten from ionic ionic icons which i have right here and the name of that icon is basically location pin um this so this is the one we'll be using and we're going to be using the field one so location that should be the name and if you go back and there you go and if you save this you can actually see the icon added and we need to increase the size so i'm going to say this size should be 20 and you see the icon getting bigger what about 20 um say 24 um okay yeah i think that that works 24 uh, is that too much uh, let's leave it at 22 okay good and uh, next is to style this decorated input so for the decorated input i'm gonna say should be flex direction should be row so every single thing will be in the same line and um after that i'm gonna say alignment center justify justify contents not um that should be flex start yeah see both of them are the same line and what else do we need to do there um i think there's nothing else so if you go ahead and type your location you see that your location is c0 um something something avenue just have that comma um portland so you have the portland there you go it goes out and you can actually see that i'm um, showing up 
own exactly that what we have here just the, the only difference is the test um side is different so we need to um change the test style and what else do we need to change okay we change the test style and then change the icon color so we can actually start with the icon color uh, for the icon i'm gonna say um color uh, color property should be equals to yeah custom color just use the custom colors we have within your app like most of it have been following me along so yeah custom colors and that should be app name colors you can see that and um, the color changes to what we have right there and then let's update the test in the input test style and that will need us to actually change this to say input decoration decorator um yeah so that that would be a different input Let's copy that and do that over here because we want that to be different a bit different from other inputs still has the same input structure height and other properties but it's not going to be that bold so we'll have to do this to be regular and the color is not going to be gray but the color is going to be dark and if you save that and you can actually see that showing up and again we need to reduce the font size um the font size is going to be 12. um i think that that looks great at this moment yeah that looks great um uh, maybe we can actually make it to be 13. i don't know if that works better um i think 13 um is, is okay yeah we can just manage that either way um next up we actually have to make this to actually start in the same alignment with the other ones um to fix that because we have decorated input um the decorated input should have was one to stand out let me see I can easily fix that by saying position relative and then left so I don't want yeah minus 10 you see that that brings it back but we don't need minus 10 let's reduce it a bit to 8 oh that could have still too far um is it aligning oh, let's try 5 okay I think yeah it's in the same position right now and we can only push it up a bit and um let's try oh, could you just leave it this way yeah i think the spacing over here is still matching with the spacing we right we have right here but the difference is that the spacing at the top is not matching with the whole spacing right here so we need to change that one so that should be saying address head margin button 10 yeah that pushes it a bit down i can have that spacing shared among each of them okay um next will be to add this um telephone and other stuff but we don't want to keep on repeating this same um icon this same test impulse styles for every single one of them what we need to do is to actually take this decorated input and make it a reusable component i'm going to delete it so it's no longer showing up here and i'm going to go over here in our component section I'm going to create a component. I'm going to call this um, um, input input icon. So input with icon. Yeah. So inside the input with icon, I'm going to say call that icon input. <laughs> um, yeah, icon input. I think that that makes more sense. Dot cxx. I think that the name matches up so in there it's gonna be a react component like that um for the place whatever we have here with it and then go ahead and import these stuffs come on come on yeah nice so import all missing but that's one that's another issue right now because these styles we don't have it right here so let's add the styles um import style sheets on that here so styles well, we need to actually add these styles i don't want to add it back again what i need to do we just need to do some copy and pasting right now so where do we actually create that okay the checkout said so here is the checkout um the styles we are trying to copy over is basically the decorated input 
an input decorated so let's go for copying hunting yeah um the collected input copy that and delete that from here um paste that right there and the next one is the collected input so you go and copy that and delete it also where is it um okay yeah there we go so these are decorated imputes so if you copy that delete it so we don't need it here but we need it right here so paste it right here I go ahead and save everything and um, i think we are done here i don't okay yeah some few changes we need to make i'm going to create a type um yeah type in here and icon blobs basically a typescript type so if you're using typescript this um this is basically a typescript type but if you're using normal javascript um i think um yeah react has a something called prop type you can actually use yeah prop types um so we're gonna say icon name yeah and again we have the placeholder string what else do we need and uh, i think that's all the placeholder string and the value, the value also, we need to do that. But well, that should be all. Okay, for now, we don't need it. So let's remove that for now. So in here, I'm going to replace the placeholder with that. So React, come on, like this. F, C, and I can input props. And that should be icon name, comma, placeholder, and over here, just replace this with the placeholder, and then replace the icon name with icon name. Gonna save this right now, and then start using it every other places. And the first place to use it will be in here. And the changes needs us to add is the name. So add the name property. The icon name is still location. Save that. Okay, we have an issue right now. Um okay, not found. Not found, not found. Um, let's place the placeholder also. Let's solve that. I'm gonna say location. Um, but I will not solve the issue we are having right now because we need to import this. And this should be from Ionic icons. Save that. And there we go. But the name of the icon is missing, so that should be called location. Um, right in here, let me say icon name. Yeah, there we go. Just to see that showing up location, I'm gonna add as um six zero six zero one comma say call this portland or what uh, portland there you go um what else we need to add so we need to add a um next one let's copy this and paste it again so this this second one we need to add a phone number section so this should be this should say phone phone number and the icon should basically match up as phone so that should be um does this make sense okay we can just copy that okay yeah that same and over here just replace the icon name 
and there you go, you can actually see that working. So the phone, and then we have the number. So right here, I could just say um, plus, plus um, 9713, random number, just fake random number. That's not my number, guys. Um, so the last is to add this underline right there. And to add that, basically use a view to complete that section. Um, so that should be underlined. We need to fix that up. Okay, it's just one pixels. Okay, um, if we save that, you can see that showing up. Okay, that's cool. And we need to add opacity to it. Um, 0 0.2, that's 2. Let's say 0 0.3. Okay, I think that's cool. And that stretches from the beginning to the end. And we need to add a bit of padding margin top to it. Let's say 10, yeah, around 10, that's good, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So now we divided this into sections. So let's go ahead and add a second section. I think all that stuff, once or one other stuff we can actually do is to is to rewriting this whole stuff again. I'm going to copy these whole sections that we have here. So we call it delivery address. Um yeah, but I'm going to copy the whole stuff all the way from here to this end. So you go ahead and okay, that's an issue. So let's say so what's going on? Should save this. Okay, this whole stuff from year to year goes out. Um, it's no longer seen. Okay, to fix that issue, I'm gonna go over to the component section. So instead of that component section, I'm gonna create this called this um um other section. Other, other section TXX going to be a, a React component. Um, there we go. And uh, let's see what we need to move out from here. So we have to move that out and over here need to paste that right there but for now we need to comment it out and still right here let's fix all these issues that we're having right now go ahead and import all this stuff okay and then the styling Let's see. let's see what else we need to fix so let's import all these styles so address delivery address delivery address here delivery address um title and that we can get all other stuff from here um delivery address help title and edit copy this out 
hopefully we are not having any issues save that over here i'm going to paste that in here import this custom color and then finally the underline copy the underline too we actually need the underline copy that. Okay, um, so what is missing? What is missing? Um, I think that stuff is missing. Yeah, we can actually say over here type that section props. We should join property. Yeah, react node. and add a children property the us should be in here and then if i go over to use this in other places other section So inside it, copy this, is that in there, and then uncomment it out. And there you go. So if you save this, it's still showing up the same. So let's take a look. Um, delivery address change address name location phone number okay that's for this section and i'm going to multiply that so this should say my mom so let's keep that the same way and location keep that to be six zero one comma portland phone number yeah, plus plus nine seven one. Okay, there we go. Um, next is the delivery section. So you just copy this. Yeah, copy that. Yeah, see that. Um, so that's for the delivery time, which we are going to change. Copy one more. I think that should be all. Not all, but we need to start making some changes. So right here, other sections should have some editable field like the title and the change button. So I could just say title. Shouldn't be optional. It's required. And next is the um. Okay, the unplus function what should it do um let's see what else um we have the edit yeah edit title should be a test and if you go over here and the structure all this so the structure the title First, we need to destructure, destructure the unpress. Basically, we are getting, we are already destructuring the object. <laughs> edit title, that should be edit title. Um, and then we could just start making use of that right here. So this says delivery address. Should say title. Save this. Um, that's going to show some errors, but let's start fixing this one at a time. I'm going to say title. 
that uh, should be delivery address for this and then the name that should be the edit style too over here I will call edit style too and last but not the least should be the callback function it should be on place right there uh, which is over here we are going to say on plus there we go so i'm going to copy all this and then paste it on another one just make some small changes so this second one should basically say um type two but it should be delivery time Title so delivery time um, change should say peak. Should say peak, and then we have the on plus and do the same for this one also. Title um, card notes, card notes, and edit test should be empty and unpressed function is still there we save that and you can actually see the changes showing up so i have the delivery time peak but that should be a time input field um so what do we need to change right there mm, we don't need all this input field we only need one one of these since we need one of these, I'm going to say um, the icon should be time. Um, there we go. Copy that. Time. Let's see. No way. So that should be, shouldn't be the last one. actually see that so you have the delivery time and uh, the time um, is here so you can actually tell the user to pick time as a placeholder mm -hmm. next pick time and um, So that's for the delivery time card notes so we can go to the card notes section um shouldn't have this should just be a test input This should say something like hello above you on happy models day. Yeah, I think that should be it. So if you can say this so far, I will actually see the changes we are making showing up here. Okay, um, we'll order that stuff. So you have the section for other views. Um, all these other views. Okay, let's see other views. MT. Okay. Um product items so here we list out the product items the user bought 
So this should be a test view, not a test view, but basically a test. Um, so this should be. Is that in there? Um, call this product. So, product should be how many items? So, depending, be the same. So, for now, just had code something like two items. There you go. And um, next one. So you can actually see that working. So you have the other bureaus and then put it on two items. Let's start that. Um, say start. Let's go to bureaus. First direction should be row. Um, first justify content space between. See that space that product, and um, makes sense to actually move this out to a separate um components. So instead of creating it out somewhere, I'm gonna create that component here. So I'm gonna say constant. So there we go. I was going to have a property called props, so I'm going to type any. Start making use of this. Save there, so that still shows up. Okay, that's no changes. Can make down multiples of these. So it should be one, two, three. Yeah, three of these. Save it. There we go. And it should have a name, and again, name and um value so yeah okay. and there will be nothing there so that will be empty because we need to fix that I'm going to say name and then value. The value should basically say what? Um, so that should be the value, two items. Save that, that shows up here. And the next one. Stop it is up to changes. Um, let's go ahead and change this. So this should say price and the pricing and the value should be somewhere around thirty dollar. Um the shipping shipping fee. 
value is free. Save this. You can actually see the changes showing up and apply coupon. That should be a test on its own. I should say apply. So apply coupon. Okay, there we go. Okay, for the apply coupon, we have actually used a style input. So, I, if the user tap inside it, they can just change, um, tap the coupon they want to apply in there. Okay, just use this as a test, test input. Yeah, apply coupon and save that. You see the color for that, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, for this, yeah, coupon input, which is going to have a placeholder, placeholder test color coming from custom. custom colors dot app main color save that there you go and let's see what else we can actually apply to the place with um apply coupon is a test and input interboard so basically is an interboard yeah you can actually see that showing up here apply coupon okay yeah I think I think that's it guys um then just side the bill section SKD bills properties should be so this first one should be style bills title style for this bills value and since that so we need to add those variables here. Use type two. Use value. Oh, I made a mistake. So that should be styles. Use type two. Okay, we we actually almost to the finish line. Then just try to conclude over here. Let's just run one or two things. Okay, let's go over here. So I'm gonna say font family. Um, um medium looks too big for this.
yeah i think this this will make more sense and uh, over here okay for the views volume i'm going to reduce this a bit so it's still regular or it's not same regular it should be light and then font size should be around 12 yeah you can actually see that a bit small so if you take a look over here on our um test so we have light extra light extra bold bold black and um semi bold regular i think we just black and regular let's change this to um regular let's see okay that comes up so we could actually change this to black okay that's too much um change that to medium it does a little bit better um I actually change this to keep it at regular everything as regular then reduce the size of this to 10 yeah i think i think we get in it we get it so um let's see what else what else, what else. okay after those changes um so they all have should have a spacing So, so I say padding horizontal, it should be padding vertical. Or instead of saying padding vertical, I should say margin top. And then, yeah, I think, think that's, that's okay. Yeah, just keep it this way yeah so you have product to items price shipping fee apply coupon and the last and then we also have a test should that should say total views right there this is 10. okay um so the last test in there should still the same view Should be this. Should use that total. Yeah, total view and value. For now, just say um, thirty. Save that, and that shows up here. Um, we're not looking like what we want, so we need to change some stuff about it i'm gonna say so this could actually have more styles to it um for the test the two tests so i'm gonna make this no So we've got that extra style. Comes as extra style. have to add the styles right away you can just say the extra yeah 
views to two. In here, I'm going to say font family should be bold. See that for both of them, and uh, font size should be 14. Okay, so I upload out date. Okay, yeah, that's it. So you can see that much now what we have here, and the next is this last section that we still need to add. Uh, So over here, I can just add this button. On the button, just say pay. Disable this first. Navigate from now, you know, where styles, check out styles. And there you go, okay. And I can just say, okay, for the styles, check out styles. Um, I see that, so that's actually positioned right there. Um, see so all our changes so we kind of like need to um, stop here for today and then continue tomorrow from on um, this section just trying to complete most of these as already almost done with the dummy screens uh, so tomorrow we'll just complete the sections of the dummy screens try to add some functionalities to it to it and um other stuff let me just um do this quick change here Let's make this quick change. I'm gonna call this payment method. I call them payment method. So yeah, guys. Um. So we'll be stopping here for today, and we we are going to continue tomorrow from our next um sections, which will basically be um trying to complete the other section screens um doing some other my um the functionality part of it so all this can be editable all this can be editable this side will be populated automatically and whatever other options that we have so try to fix that tomorrow so yeah that will be it. so guys um do join me tomorrow and uh, and i enjoyed um god like streaming with you guys today so see you guys tomorrow and if you haven't subscribed please do hit the subscription button and the bell button um to get notified whenever i upload or start streaming so see you guys in the next um episode and the next streamings thank you guys for joining and have a nice day everyone